historical mile. 1,760 metres of thundering hooves, sweat, strain and pain. Six horses, six drivers, all striving to win one of Australasia's greatest harness races. Each year they gather at Sydney's Harold Park, the best of the best invited by the club. And traditionally, it is an event that lives up to its name. A race where dreams can be realised, fairy tales fulfilled. The first of the miracles occurred in 1967, when a New Zealand mayor by the name of Robin Dundee not only blitzed the field, but ran the mile in under two minutes. Will it be a miracle mile? Uh, we'll watch the blue light. Uh, Robin Dundee is way out in front of the field as they come down to the winning post, hard driven. Robin Dundee may do it. They get down near the line. Maybe, yes, a cheer from the crowd. Robin Dundee beat the light. The blue light comes up and they're racing. Master Musician away brilliantly in the centre. He's going to try and cross Ilva Colo, but he won't. And here's Norm's daughter driven out hard from the outside. Keen to lead. And at the first turn, Norm's daughter takes the lead away from Ilva Colo. Almost 30 years on, another horse, Norm's daughter, created her own piece of pacing history when she won the postponed 1995 event. The six-year-old upstaging her more fancied rivals to become not only the second mare to win the race, but more importantly, give Kelly Kersley a night to remember, becoming the first female driver to win the race. It's Norm's daughter, the leader. She drifts off the inside. The Kiwi gets the run. Ilva Colo, he's coming quickly, but Norm's daughter's hanging on on the West Australian mare. Wins the Miracle Mile. Norm's daughter from Ilva Colo. It meant a great deal to me. Um, it was a dream come true for myself. Um, being involved with the harness racing family that have been very successful, it meant a lot to me to be to be able to win a big race and um, be listed in the history books. Six months after that momentous victory, Kelly and Norm's daughter are back again to defend their title. Just being here is a miracle in itself. Not long after winning the big race in June, the West Australian mayor was in dire straits, hospitalised after suffering from a virus. But as Kelly testifies, Norm's, as she's affectionately known, is no average horse. When the horse got sick and, and had the virus, um, I think she lost something like five kilos, which is, you know, which is nothing for a horse. Um, you know, an average horse would, or a normal horse would have probably lost, you know, five times that amount of weight where she's, in my opinion, she's an iron horse. Of course, Norm's daughter isn't the only tough member of this partnership. Kelly has had to learn to be just as thick-skinned as she's made her way in what is predominantly a man's sport. For me, it was hard because when I won on a horse, it was because I was a Kersley. When I got beat on a horse, it was because I was a girl. So we've sort of got over them hurdles and that sort of doesn't worry me a lot now. And I don't think it worries the, the other guys I drive against either. Down the New South Wales coast, another mare is preparing her assault on the big race. Sable Eyes is making her second attempt at the mile, having come second three years ago. Now there's hopes she'll go one better, and in the process create some history of her own, being the first mare in foal to enter the event. So how's Sable Eyes coping as a mother? I've got to say she's a little lot better herself. You know, she's always been a lovely natured mare and uh, that sort of thing, so uh, yeah, I, I can't say a lot of difference in her. The Miracle Mile will be the Mayor's swan song. After this, she'll go into retirement to concentrate on motherhood. And so what better way to go out than with a win? A win that Brian Hancock has been striving for for so long. Brian, this is your 12th attempt at the Miracle Mile. You've made more attempts than any other. Is it like a monkey on your back that you've never won it? Yeah, well, everybody says that. Yeah, it is. I suppose it is really, it's, you know. Um... Everyone sort of says about, I've got a monkey back, I can't win a uh, derby or I can't win a Miracle Mile. And, you know, I think I've won Hunter Cups and Victoria Cups and all those sort of races, but uh, I just can't seem to get this one. You know, I have, I've had more chances than anybody else at it, which we're very fortunate to have horses over the years to, to compete in a Miracle Mile. So, you know, really it's, um, it is a monkey on me back and a bloody big monkey at that. The big night. Harold Park is packed 
Bryan is set, Kelly is set, and the two mayors are ready. All that remains is the race. Blue light on, they're racing. Sable Eyes has begun brilliantly. Ilva Carlo has gone out fast too. They're going to cross Norm's daughter as Sable Eyes takes the lead into the first turn from Ilva Carlo. Norm's daughter immediately off the inside to be one off. Around the turn and down to the judge to get the bell now in the Miracle Mile and it's the Kiwi Ilva Carlo leading from last season's winner Norm's daughter. She's on the outside of the leader. Sable Eyes third the inside. They're flying. Ilva Colo, three quarters to Norm's daughter. Manaville went off stride there. And Eric Lees is going to get out. Sableyes can't get a run. Ilva Colo swung for home clear. Norm's daughter the outside. Sableyes trying to get out. And here's Eric Lees on the outside. Ilva Colo in front. Eric Lees is storming home. Sableyes getting out late. But the boom, New Zealander. Eric Lees takes the lead from Ilva Colo. And Eric Lees gets up to win. As Ricky May celebrates his miracle victory, Brian Hancock and Kelly Kersley are left in his wake. But neither are disgraced. Brian paying an emotional tribute to his charge, the mother-to-be, as she goes into retirement. You know, what can you say about it? You know, she's done everything I went after doing. She's just been a super mare to us. And uh, I must say, one day I've got a nice cold and winter miracle mile with it. And, you know, no doubt she'll do a great job in the breeding barn. And, you know, it's just one of those things you've... You know, it's the first time I've sort of got a bit teary about one, you know, but... She's been a pleasure to have and we brought her as a year. And as I said, you know, everything's gone through the right way and we can't end up the last race in the Rook Mile, so what can you ask for?